Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the definition of eigenvalues and eigenvectors and also their basic properties. So if you wish, you can download the preliminary PDF file for this video in the comment section or if you have access to Blackboard of the page uh, of the course, you can download it there. It's, it's useful for watching and if you can fill the gaps or if something is too small in the video, it's easy to zoom in in the PDF file. Okay, do as you wish. Okay, let's set the stage with a vector space over a field. You can take any of your favorite fields, complex number, real numbers, rational numbers. And consider a map T from V to itself. We're interested in very special vectors such that the action of T on V is very simple. So lambda TV is equal to lambda V for lambda in F. Basically means that TV is just along the same line as V itself. So for example, geometrically is V, if V is in here, then lambda TV would be somewhere, for example, here, along the same line. But so we are interested in the cases that V is non-zero because if V is equal to zero, T of zero is always zero. It doesn't give us any information. And if that's the case, we call this V eigen vector and lambda eigen value. So my German friend says that um, eigen actually means its own. So it has a German name, so it must be an important thing in math. Okay, examples. Let's look at this example. Um, and you can pause the video and actually try to do it yourself first. And um, we discuss it together. Okay, let's see. T of V is equal to lambda V, but this lambda is assumed to be zero. So what does it mean? This number zero multiplied to any vector gives the zero vector, okay? This is one of the properties of the any vector field, uh, any vector space. So this is, implying what tv is equal to zero so that's the definition of the kernel kernel of the map is all the those which are mapped to zero let's also look at this example if v is an eigenvector corresponding to eigenvalue 2 and w is an eigenvector corresponding to eigenvalue 3 then this linear combination of v and w is given action of t on v minus 3w can be decomposed as this because the t is linear and this can be very easily understood the point i want to highlight is that given a linear combination of eigenvectors action of t on these linear combinations is can can be very easily expressed and that uh, we will discuss in the part that we did, uh, about diagonalizability, how important this property is. Okay, let's look at this example. If V is an eigenvector corresponding to eigenvalue lambda, we want to see, uh, say something about T squared. Okay, so let's apply T to both side of that, uh, sides of that equation and we get tv equal to t of lambda v. But t is linear, so this would be lambda tv. And this is equal to, this is lambda v, so this is lambda squared, uh, lambda squared v. And 
Okay, so now v is an eigenvector for t squared corresponding to eigenvalue lambda squared. Okay, we can do the same thing two, three times and also get that uh, this v cubed composition of t with itself three times has this eigenvalue lambda cubed and um, with the same eigenvector. If we do this inductively, we can write equal to lambda n v. So just let's mention that n is an, a natural number. Okay, what, he, what can we say if t is invertible? So we have t v equal to lambda v. Let's apply T inverse to both sides. Equal to T inverse lambda V. And because the inverse of a linear map is also linear, we can write this as T inverse. Okay, what have we found? What is this equal to? T inverse composition with T is just v so we find that t inverse of v let's take this to the other side so is equal to lambda inverse v okay so v is an eigenvector corresponding to the eigenvalue lambda inverse for t inverse if t is invertible Nice. Again, maybe you pause the video and try to uh, answer this question. Okay, so let's try it. If PV is equal to lambda V for some vector which is non zero, uh, then we want to get some information about lambda in this question. So we understood that P of PV is equal to lambda squared V. Okay, but also what we are given, what the property that is given here for P is that P squared is equal to uh, P. So this P squared of V is equal to PV but this is assumption that V is of an eigenvector, so this would be equal to this. Okay, what do we get? This is equal to this one, lambda squared V equal to lambda V. V is an eigenvector, so it is non-zero by assumption. So what does it give? So lambda squared minus equal to lambda. Therefore, lambda squared minus lambda is equal to zero. Therefore, lambda is equal to zero or one. Okay, so either of these cases can only happen, or both, but uh, so nothing else. For example, these properties only imply the already saying are saying that p cannot have eigenvalue equal to two. Okay, we just prove this. Again, you could pause the video and try to solve this question on your own. What are we, what are the assumptions? So Tx is equal to some lambda x. Okay, we want to get some information about S O T and T O S. Let's just apply S to both sides. So S of T X is equal to S of lambda X is equal to lambda S X. Okay, so this is S O T of X. But we have this assumption that S O T is equal to T O S. So this is equal to T O S of X equal to t of s of x. 
Okay, so these are all equal. We are finding that this is equal to this. So let's just write it quickly. T S X is equal to lambda S X. Okay. Therefore, S X is an eigenvector corresponding to lambda if S X is non-zero. Okay, because eigenvectors cannot be zero. But that's also the assumption, so we solve this easy. We have an n by n matrix, and n is odd. A transpose is equal to negative a. We want to prove that a has a zero eigenvalue. We can just try to solve it for yourself. Um, just pause the video. Or Okay, after some time, we could look at the hint. So we want to prove that, that there is a non-zero eigenvector in the kernel. And if we have a non-zero element in the kernel, then the determinant must be zero. And the se second step just, is just to compare determinant of minus a and determinant of A transpose with determinant of A. And use the fact that this minus one to the N is actually minus one when N is odd. Given a matrix, a square matrix with entries in a, in a field, we can consider similar equation as we considered for um, a linear map. AX equal to lambda X, where X is a non-zero vector. So X is here uh, N by one. Okay. And then we call X eigenvector and lambda an eigenvalue. You can uh, watch the next video and see how we actually calculate these uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors in detail. Thank you.